Shabbat Shalom. We come together this Shabbat, each bringing to our own dash mikdash me'at, our own private, small, homebound sanctuaries, our own world of hopes, of fears, of dreams. Some of us are burdened by anxieties and cares that all but crush our faith in the future. Others have hearts filled with happiness, grateful for the joys of the past week, yet aware that even the most fortunate are vulnerable before the mystery of tomorrow. Every life is a unique blending of joy and sorrow, of fulfillment and frustration. As we end the penultimate month before the Chagim, our High Holy Days. Let us think and reflect on this past year, its moments of challenge, its moment of opportunities, and its moments of love, moments we came together, moments we said, how good, how pleasant it is for us to be together. And for all those moments when we couldn't gather in person, but we gathered in virtual spaces like this one, where although we were not physically connected, we were spiritually connected, just as we are as we enter this Shabbat. Kenter Ellen Dreskin taught in a Zoom session, she was teaching a nigun, a wordless melody similar to what we just sang. 
And she turned to all of us on the Zoom class and she said, I can't hear you, but I can hear you. Friends, we can't hear you, but we can hear you. So please join with us as we sing together and welcome Shabbat with the words of Yadid Nefesh. Welcomed our beloved souls. We now welcome the Sabbath bride with the words of Lachadodi. Ya la 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 la, 
Kabbalat Shabbat, or a time of facing into this moment where we come together, where we start to bring in that sense of shleimut, that sense of wholeness. We pause for an opportunity to rise, if we're able, as we come together as one, and we join together in the Baruch Hu.
Adonai, your majesty is proclaimed by the marvels of earth and sky. Sun, moon, and stars testify to your power and wisdom. Day follows day in endless succession, and the years vanish, but your sovereignty endures. Though all things pass, let not your glory depart from us. Help us to become co-workers with you, and endow our fleeting days with abiding worth. El chai v'kayam tamid im loch alinu leolam va'ed Baruch atah Adonai Amari v'aravim Ahavat olam beit Yisrael amcha hafta In each age we receive and transmit Torah at each moment, we are addressed by the world. In each age, we're challenged by our ancient teaching. At each moment, we stand face to face with truth. In each age, we add our wisdom to that which has gone before. And each moment, the knowing heart is filled with wonder. In each age, the children of Torah become its builders and seek to set the world firm on a foundation of truth. Ki hem chayenu ve'orech yameinu Uvahem nege yomam v'alayla Ba'ahavat cha al tasir mimenu le'olamim Baruch ata Adonai Ohev amo Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Shema Yisrael Ha <laughs> Vechayila totafot bene neha Uchtatam Amisuzot betecha Ubi sharecha Leman tiskeru basitem et chumis fotai Viet kedoshim le lochechem Ani Adonai lochechem Asher tsechem Miret mitzraim leot lachem lilchim Ani Adonai Elohechem. Twice a day, we look to our prayer, Micha Mocha, a reminder of freedom and redemption. Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel reminds us that our hard-won freedom can become a danger when we as individuals feel that we can act as we desire, perhaps 
by not listening to the important words of our governor or not wearing masks when human life is at stake. Freedom, he says, must be thought of as each of us having the capacity for sacrifice. We are grateful and we must act to keep the freedom that we enjoy. Bye. 
If you are able, we invite you to rise as we begin our Amidah prayer. We are grateful and we ask God for God's help in prayer. Shia, 
מוריד הטל, מחכל חיים בחסד, מחיי הכל ברחמים רמים, סומך נופלים ורופא הולים, ומתיר עצורים, ומקיים אמונתו. לשני עפר, מי חמוך בגבורות ומדום אלך, נלך ממית ומחיה ומצמיח ישוע, ונאמן אתה לחיות הכל, ברוך אתה אדוני. We continue for a few moments with the prayers of our hearts or the prayers in our Sidurim.
thoughts turn to those who are in need of healing at this time. Within our community, we are especially mindful of Norman Berman, Leslie Fothman, Sebastian Ferron, Denise Garrick, Steve Gould, Laura Haberman, Ellen Hutt, Robert Ilko Sr., Heidi Krantz, Nessa by Yosefa Shoshana, Patty Peters, Jerry Sampson, Rhonda Schwartz, Joshua Schumann, Maxine Trimble and Gerald Trimble, Linda Valfer and Fred Valfer, Joel Volsky and Susan Volsky, Rodney Washington, George Wise, Adam Gimble, and Iris Gimbel. Perhaps there's a name on your heart that you would like to add to our Misha Berach prayers. I invite you to share that name. Although our rabbis teach, it is not necessary to mention each person's name who is in need of healing. Rabbi Yaakov said that, Rav Chista said, anyone who requests mercy on behalf of another need not mention their name. As it is stated in our Torah, please God, heal her, please. And Moses did not mention Miriam's name. We hold all of those whom we name and all of those whom are too numerous to name. As we pray together for healing, our prayer, Mishabera Lecholim. Shabbat Shalom to everyone at home that's joining with us. Shabbat Shalom to all of you here that are with us this evening, leading us so beautifully. The past few weekends have provided some auspicious moments in the life of our congregation. We've been blessed once again to call some of our incredible teens to Torah as they each become bar bat mitzvah. So many emotions and memories have been swirling around surrounding these families throughout this time and understandably so. It got me thinking about what it means to step up as one who's responsible in our community, particularly at a time where the sacred ritual would have been preceded most likely surrounded by so many family and friends. In searching for some wisdom and insight, I turned to our Torah portion this week. We're reading from the book of Deuteronomy, specifically from Parshat Re'eh, the Torah portion which immediately precedes the month 
of Elul in our Hebrew calendar. Moses is relaying a series of rules and regs for the Israelite community as they prepare to enter into the Promised Land. Specifically, they're told the following. Together with your households, you shall feast there before the Eternal, your God, happy in all the undertakings in which the Eternal, your God, has blessed you. You shall not act at all as we now act here, each householder of us as we please, each of us as we please. Even according to the medieval commentators, has implication of deeper meaning. Written another way, you have been doing your own thing in the past, but now you all need to step up and come together as a community. Your individuality, in essence, take pa takes pause at this point, and remember that you are part of something greater. A few chapters later, however, we read the following verse in which we learn, all your males shall appear before the Lord, eternal your God, in the place that God will choose. They shall not appear before the eternal empty-handed, but each with his own gift, according to the blessing that the eternal your God has bestowed upon you. Here another concept. Still in the space of offerings and sacrifices, Moses encourages and even commands the Israelites to individualize each with his or her own gift. This week, I believe, we're, we're tasked with learning about the power of self-expression within the greater context of community. One represents complete personal chaos. Everyone should do as he or she pleases. On the other hand, the other, a healthier self-actualization. Each person brings his or her own gift. Here the Israelites are learning about their shifting identity as they prepare to enter their new and promised land. The Israelites began their journey as slaves, much like children growing up, blind to their own selfhood. For 40 years they've wandered and they've explored together, and now they're in transition, even working through their own chaos in pursuit of who they are as individuals and as a people. And in this moment, Moses decrees that the time has come to evolve toward their own self-realization in their eternal home. And as such, people have to uphold their community standards while allowing for the diversity of individual thought. So, as we sit here on Shabbat evening, pondering this dynamic tension introduced to us this week, Perhaps there are those among us, even ourselves, particularly in these moments of uncertainty, who wrestle with our individual needs and the conformity in which our communities and our societies ask of us. In Judaism, every life stage ushers in a new level of responsibility to become a man or a woman at this time of bar and bat mitzvah means to take on a new level of responsibility for one's actions. In fact, in our rabbinic teachings in Midrash, at the time of Bar and Bat Mitzvah, parents recite a blessing thanking God for bringing his or her son or daughter to this new level of responsibility, while at the same time, freeing them from direct responsibility for those actions that she or he had been responsible up until their stage of their child's life. This does not mean at all that parents who recite this blessing are now freed from furthering their child's education as a mensch and as a Jew. Rather, it means that now the obligation has entered a new stage of development. From then on and throughout life, we need to continue to nurture and enhance the lessons and principles which were the building blocks of that original foundation. And that foundation, I believe, is nurtured both through individual expression, and how one brings their own expression to the greater community. For those B'nai Mitzvah we just experienced these few weeks, and for you, Jack, who will lead us here so beautifully tomorrow afternoon, and a lesson which I believe is applicable to all of us, you and we 
are the pioneers of a new journey within a new global reality. For those becoming B'nai Mitzvah, even more so at this time, and for those of us still pondering how we're going to walk through this time, ourselves and with our families, may this be a new chapter of continued individual and expansive growth. One that enables you to challenge, to wrestle, and to question that which is presented as what must be. And I hope and I pray that each of our personal expansive evolutions into the future enables us to see the critical reality that we each are made stronger by the people and the love that surrounds us, that nurtures us, and that causes us to think and act with greater intention and as Torah teaches, each with our own gifts. Next week we'll mark Rosh Chodesh Elul, the moment we begin toward deep introspection and cheshbon hanefesh as we learn an accounting of our souls in preparation for our high holy days. As each of us begins to engage in this personal and sacred work, may we learn to balance the rebellion of our souls with the many blessings and gifts that each of us brings to our families, to our communities, and to this greater world. We are very much in need of both our individuality and our collective responsibility toward the other at this time. Can you hear us? So may this be God's will and God's blessing as we say together, Amen. Amen. Now into our third week, our second week of live, in-person, on-campus experience. Our B'nai Mutzvah boot camp this week has culminated for many young individuals who are about to achieve what is becoming their own sacred journey. And so we wish to hear from them right now some of their own takeaways from this past week. During B'nai Mitzvah boot camp, what impacted me in B'nai Mitzvah boot camp the most? What impacted me the most about B'nai Mitzvah boot camp? How thankful I am. I'm thankful for my family, my friends, my teachers, my coaches, and a whole bunch of others.
Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. My name is Allison Prager, and I'm a member of your Board of Directors. It's my pleasure to welcome you to our service this evening. Mazel Tov to our B'nai Mitzvah family this weekend, to Jack Biederman, his parents Rachel Ross, and Bruce Biederman, and sister Gabrielle. I'd also like to remind you that you can find everything you need to know on our website, cbisd.org. On this Shabbat, I would like to share a reading from Rabbi Lawrence Kushner. To be a Jew means to wake up and keep our eyes open to the many beautiful, mysterious, and holy things that happen all around us every day. Many of them are like little miracles. When we wake up and see the morning light, when we taste food and grow strong, and when we learn from others and grow wise, when we hug the people we love and we feel warm when we help those around us feel good. All these and more are there for us every day, but we must open our eyes to see them. Shabbat Shalom. We have been blessed with many individuals who have grown up in our congregation and who in these coming weeks are going to be heading back, some of them, to college campuses. And one of them is our very own Sebastian who has been leading us for these past months so beautifully, adding his voice, his guitar skills, his passion for all things Jewish in this time. And so in the spirit of this time and for those that are leaving for college in these coming weeks, I offer the following mishaberach and blessing, specifically to you, Sebastian, and then we'll join in for a blessing for all of our students returning to college and beyond. May the one who bless our fathers and mothers before us bring blessing upon this young leader in our midst as he makes ready for his journey back to Franklin Marshall and as you continue to be a Jewish leader on campus. As you, Sebastian, affirm your connection and community there, so may your connection to this place and people ever remain sacred and strong. As you, Sebastian, student and song leader all in one, and as you, like many others from our community, will do in the coming weeks, may your journey be blessed with spirit and heart, wholeness and holiness, and in brute, in health, that we, this congregational family, may share the inspiration and the joy of your ongoing adventures with you. Adonai yishmor uvoecha adolam. May the Holy One guard your going out and guide your coming home. From this moment forth and always, May you be a blessing. Amen. Amen. And so as we think of all of you who are heading off in these coming weeks, may you be blessed with health. May you be blessed with wholeness. May this time that's uncertain in our world, may you find comfort and respite around those friends and those who you love as we join in a blessing, a tifilat haderech, a blessing of travels along your journeys. May we be blessed as we go on our way. guided in peace. May we be blessed with health and joy. May this be our blessing. Amen. Peace. 
sheltered by the wings of peace. May we be kept in safety and in love. May grace and compassion find their way to every soul. May this be our blessing. Amen. 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 May this be our blessing. have, as you know, every month blessed our new moons, the Jewish calendar so filled with excitement and the joy of the zodiac and the opportunity each month to share and start over. This is our last blessing of the month for the year 5780 where we bless the month of Elul. Our God and God of our ancestors, may the new month bring us goodness and blessing. May we have long life, peace, and prosperity, a life exalted by love of Torah and reverence for the divine, a life in which the longings of our hearts are fulfilled for good. Rosh Chodesh Elul Yiyeh B'yom Rivei V'yom Chamishi The new month of Elul begins Wednesday night and Thursday. May it be your will God my God and God of our ancestors that the coming month bring us peace full life and blessing may the promise of your new moon fill us with well-being guide us as we grow making us come begin to conclude our service this evening with the Alenu. If you're able, please rise. Alenu <laughs> 
of our loved ones whom death has recently taken from us, those who died at this season in years past, and those whom we have drawn into our hearts with our own one. If you are saying Kaddish tonight for someone, we invite you to rise as you hear their name. We are in the period of Shiva, seven days after the burial, for Nancy Kurame wife of William, mother of Michael, Carol, and Tony, grandmother of Shana, Michaela, Taylor, Zari, and Alejandro. And we are in the period of Shloshim, 30 days after the burial, for Jeffrey Bergman, Brian Borkham, and Sandra Rubin. And we remember those who died at this time in years past. Rebecca Abbott, Barry Ackerman, Lewis Adams, Albert Bell, Leah Bensman, Sidney Allen Berkman, Lillian Berkowitz, Estelle Berman, Judith Bianchini, Mario Berman, Ronald Brainsky, Kay Cadden, Rose Kalamia, Joseph Meyer Chaitin. Elaine R. Cohen, Sanford Cohen, Stanley Davidoff, Sandra Dembo, Glenn F. Dime, Francis Drag, Mary Farb, Ethel G. Friedman, Benjamin Frost, Herman Gadon, Gertrude Gans, Elmer Glazer, Ralph Goldman, Julian Harry Water Goldsmith, Bess Grixt, Estelle Hartman, Cora Hyman, Judy Herman, Tilda Himmel, Michael Hinden, Paul Hittleman, Linda Holden, Martha Hollander, Gail Honig, Ruth Horowitz, Jerry Cantor, Stephen Michael Katz, Carl Kirsch, Lawrence Clute, Meyer Kurnow, Morton Lakin, Mose Levenstein, Jenny Levy, Ethel Motor, Mabel Morris, Joseph Leo Mullen, 
Lillian Nathan, Sophia Nidinova, George Newman, Mildred Newberger, Susie Norton, Gary North, Minnie Novell, Joseph Montrose O'Malley, Sidney Oren, Harry Pesson, Delmer Platt, Mort Rosen, Arnold Saltzman, Abraham Sanders, David J. Sandweiss, Benjamin Saphold, Jack Schneider, Nathan Schneider, Edward Schulifan, Ann Schultz, Sarah Schur, Albert Silverman, Gail Silverman, Sam Slayen, Ruth Sperling, William Starr, Harry Stone, Sam Stone, Morel Streichler, Shirley Tatz, Robert Unterman, Marvin Wax, Marion Weil, Richard Welt, and Mickey Wolman. If there's a name that I have not said, please share that with your family and friends this evening as a reminder of those you love. We rise together and recite our Kaddish Yatom. Yitgadal v'yitgadash me Rabba Be'alma divrach yurte v'yamlich malchute V'chayechon u'v'yomechon U'v'chayedecho b'yit Yisrael V'agala u'v'zman kariv v'imru Amen Yehesh me Rabba mevarach le'alam u'almei almaya Yitbarach v'yishtabach v'yitpa'ar v'yitromam v'yitnaseh Vitadar vitale vitalal shmeid krusha brichu Leela min kol birchata veshirata Tushbechata menechemata Damiran beama vimru amen Yehei shlama rabba min shemaya Vechayim aleinu veel kol Yisrael vimru amen Ose shalom bimromav Uya se shalom Aleinu veel kol Yisrael Bimru. Amen. Zichronam livracha. May their memories always be for a blessing. Amen. Oh, say shalom bimroma. Uya say shalom aleinu. Israel,
שבת שלום. שבת שלום. שבת שלום.